this is Simon Stark, and in this video we are looking at the binomial theorem. So the binomial theorem is all based around Pascal's triangle, and Pascal's triangle is shown here. And basically, it is the sum of the previous two. So for example, here you have a two, which is just the sum of the one and the one there. Here you have a three, that's the sum of the two and the one, and so on. However, there is a much easier way of working it out than having to write it out all the time, and this is done by the NCR. Now, in order to get the thing, all you need to do is press Shift Divide, and that will come up with a C on your calculator. Now, this can be used to find a coefficient. So, for example, if we were looking at this fifth row here, and we wanted to find what the second one was, which is here, then what we would write is we'd write five, and then we would do shift divide, and then this one counts as zero, the first one always counts as zero, this one counts as the first one, second one, third one, fourth one, and the fifth one. So we would do five C one, which goes to five. If we wanted to find the fourth term, which is this one here, then we would just write 5c3 on your calculator, which comes up as 10. Now, one way that we can use this solely on its own is in a question such as this one at the bottom. And this one says, how many ways can you choose three balls from a bag of seven? Now, in order to do this, you would write 7c3 three on your calculator, which is then equal to 35. Therefore, there are 35 ways to choose three balls from a bag of seven. So now we have to use the binomial theorem to expand some expressions. And the first expression we need to expand is one plus two X to the power of nine. And we just have to find the first four terms of it. So in order to do this, we're going to have to write it as a and b and this is what i always do no matter how hard it is it's just a lot easier if you write it all as just a and b and then substitute the numbers in later now the first one will be a9 now this is because this is the first term and um, there is no b in the first term and because it always starts with one it would just be one times a to the nine but obviously you don't need that. But the next one will have a to the eight and then b. But in order to get the coefficient, we're gonna to have to use that ncr. And again, it's going to be nine c one to get that, and that's going to be nine. So nine a to the eight b. And as you can see, it will always equal eight plus one there will equal nine. The first one was just a to the nine. So that's just gonna be nine. So it's always gonna equal this number here. So if that was five, for example, the first one would be eight to the five. The second one would be five to the a to the four b. Now the next one, we're gonna to have to have two b's but again, we're gonna to have to use this NCR. But this time it's gonna be 9C2, and 9C2 is equal to 36. A to the seven this time. This one decreases by one each time, whereas the B will increase by one each time. Again, seven plus two is equal to nine. And then the final term for this is gonna be N C3 and NC3 is equal to 84. So 84, again, A is decreasing by one. So A to the six. B is increasing by one each time. So B to the three. And then as we've got A and B, and I'll always start with just putting everything in A and B because it makes it a lot easier, no matter if I was five or six um, you still use a and b, but then you just substitute the a for 1 and the b for 2x. Now, 
as a is just one, it's all nice, but it's always going to be one. One um, squared or one to the power of eight will always be one. So this means that it's going to be eight to the nine is equal to one. Then we're going to have nine times by b, so nine times by two x plus thirty six times one times two x squared, and this is often a mistake people make is they do two x squared, but that will go to four x squared. plus 84 times 2x cubed, which is basically times by 8x cubed, because we have to cube that 2 as well. Then we're just going to simplify this to get our final answer of 1 plus 18x plus 144x squared plus 672x cubed and that is our final answer for that as it only requires the first four terms but then the next question is we're using this answer here to work out 1.02 to the power of 9. Now initially you may think, well, how would you do that? But we know that this is going to be equal to 1 plus 2x to the power of 9. Now, therefore, we know that x is going to be equal to 0.01. Now we know this because that's 1.02. This is 1 plus 2x, so therefore 2x is equal to 0.02. Therefore x on its own is equal to 0.01. And then what we can do here is just put the 0.01 into the answer that we've got. So 18 times 0.01. Now it's worth mentioning that this is just an estimate, so it's not going to give us the exact answer. Um, it would only give us the exact answer if we were to work out all of the terms and then put uh, 0.01 into everything. However, we only need the first four terms because, as you can see, it will get very, very small as you continue it because its x is being squared, so or to the power of much larger numbers. So here, 144 times 0.01 squared, which is there a lot smaller, and then even smaller is going to be 0.01 cubed, so 672 times 0.01 cubed. Then we're just going to pop this into our calculator, and this gives us the answer of 1.19502, which is very close to uh, 1.02 to the 9, because one point, the real answer of this is actually 1.19502. Five, so it's a three decimal places at the same place, but then it goes not nine. And that is the actual answer, which is, as you can see, is very close to our estimate. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.